Hello. Hello. Good morning, Internet. I think this is the first clip we've actually filmed today. Yes. I've been busy and I'm injured. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Why I'm wearing my, my fancy pants? Oh, there's a reason I'm wearing my pajama pants and you're actually dressed, but I smashed my toe into, I think it was your jigsaw? It was. Oh, geez, cut that. Either way, yeah. Chet had like a piece of string from his rope caught in his teeth and I was coming around the desk to go help and the jigsaw was on the floor and I smashed my foot into it. So I think I broke my middle toe. It doesn't swell. Anytime I've broken anything, it doesn't swell. But it hurts. <laughs> and this is hours ago now and it still aches. So I think I broke my toe. So that sucks because... I think I might get to quit my job soon, depending on how things work out. We don't know yet, but I'll know more by tomorrow, I think, maybe. Um, <laughs> so you we'll were... see how that goes. But I was gonna start running again. I wanna run, I wanna like get better. Cause I know I'm already starting to feel it in places that I haven't been running. Like my knees start to hurt, my shoulders start to hurt, and I don't like it. But now I have a broken toe. <laughs> I'm not supposed to do anything with it for four to six weeks. But today I wanted to sand because we're at a point now where the walls need to get done so that we can paint them. Yes. So you can see I have put up some test paint. We bought test paint last night, which I'll show you that clip. What are you doing, Jet? Is it dark out? Is it dark? I want to come sit on your lap. Your feet are wet. We're not doing that. You're going to stay right there. We're going to go for a ride. We're going to go buy some sample paint. Right, Dad? Can you say good morning, Internet? Because it's so good. Good morning, Internet. That's not bad. That's not bad. Oops. Your last one. Oh, sorry, guys. Good morning, Internet. Uh oh. What'd you do? Everything. Because that's the one and only clip we recorded yesterday, so we literally lost a day in our timeline. <laughs> um, but this is the regular wall paint, which now has been sanded, so it looks a little weird. And I haven't washed the wall, so it's also gross. Chet, leave it. Well, you were trying to get rid of those lines. Which what? You can see them. Are lines. super obvious now that you've right, sanded. Right. Now that I've sanded them, you can see it. But I have leveled it. Right. So that's that's better. Um, so are those wallpaper seams? Is they're wallpaper seams. Okay. One hundred percent these wallpaper seams. So then I had I had to fix up this corner a little bit because as I, you sand the corner, because I've got this beautiful little rotary sander, um, it, the wallpaper just goes mm. <laughs> split. So I've had to actually spackle that a little bit. I'll have to sand it again to smooth it out. But this is the wall color for the dormer. So this will be on this wall and on the bottom and on that wall. And then this is the ceiling color, which is not white. I am not doing white ceiling. It's ever so slightly lighter than the wall color, which is, and the funny part is, is I didn't even do this on purpose, but the number pattern for these are in order. It's like 189, 190, 191. And this is 100% not on purpose. Um, You're like, these pair nicely together. They do, they look good. I'm sure it was on purpose. Chet, leave it. What are you doing? You already <laughs> No! Do I have to kick you out? Look at all the dust on the floor. No! Come on! Out! 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 I thought you could be responsible. You cannot. Out! I'm excited to take this door off and do stuff. And like actually that. finish it. That didn't and latch, by the way. That. See? Out! We're gonna replace all of our hardware in this house. Um, with one set and one color. Um, that's a someday project. Um, but yeah, so I sanded for, I don't know, like what, an hour? It was probably an hour, yeah. No, because I listened to three podcasts. So that's... I was working, so... I was so. on my third podcast, so it was at least two hours, because one was 20 minutes, one was an hour, and another one that I just barely started. Um, so I did all the sanding in here so that we can get the dormer done so that Steve can hang the light that's up above the dormer right. and do the switches. So then that whole corner can be done. Um, I did a little bit of spackling in the corner over here. Where the closet used to be. Where the closet used to be, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. so I filled in a couple more holes. You can see that it's starting to dry. Um, yeah, you can see the wet spots. I did some sanding so that I could start to level that out a little bit, but I think we're close. Um, so I think I might get the orbital sander in here and try and level out some of this stuff and see what happens. <laughs> but I think we're close. Um, but we did buy paint colors. Well, at least little samples. Now, mm -hmm. only 350. So it's absolutely worth it if you're not sure what color you want to do to get it. And you get a lot of paint. Like, I haven't even used all of the sample. I could probably use quite a bit of it to paint a good chunk, at least the ceiling. I'm wondering if we actually need to buy paint to do the dormer or if the sample will be enough. Well, I'm going to use that color in a different room. Oh, you are? Okay. So that we could buy a gallon and it wouldn't be a waste. Okay. But anyway, I had to clean myself off and feel like a human being because I was just covered. 
Well, you can see the dust on the plastic. Uh -huh. Like it's just everywhere. It's everywhere, and it's like a, a yellow dust because it's yellow paint. And it's Over here is white dust because it's white tobacco. And it's only gonna get worse. Right, because so. I have to do this entire room. But I found the. I thought I did two grits. I did a 60 grit and a 120 grit because I did the 60 grit to tear off the stripes, and then I did 120 to smooth out the paper. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna go ahead and re. Sand or another layer. I might. I'm Even looking sure. down the surface of it, it doesn't look. It's not terribly heavy, but it is still matted a little bit. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I'm just gonna stop and think about it because my foot hurts. <laughs> the trim really irks me because there's like little spots and holes, and I sanded some of the high points down, but I really need to get in here with like, um, like I did the, the rail. I was I sanded block. that. Well, no, I, I did that with the orbital sander, oh, okay. which is why it took such a layer off, which is nice. The wood underneath it actually looks really good. And I did the trim with the orbital sander here too. You can see where it, it took a bunch off there. Yeah, it really cleaned it up. Um, so it will take another layer nicely, but I would like to bring it down so I can get rid of some of these brush strokes and, and clean it up some. And you can tell that they like use, I can feel the um, caulk that they used between the two. I don't know what to do about that yet. Sort of ripping it out and replacing it. And redoing it? Well, it's not terrible. I just know that it's there. Right. And I had a, a hole to repair here. I mean, little stuff, little little stuff, but I, I don't know, I kind of want to... Well, and you could, you could spackle on. the hole where the former coax used to go through. Yeah, I looked at that. And then by the time I really... I don't know if we should spray some kind of insulation in that, probably. Probably, because it goes right so, to the outside, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a good thing I didn't fill it with spackle. I was going to get drywall today and it then raining. it was raining, just like it oh, was yeah. yesterday. Yep. So... I don't know if it's going to get nicer as the... This wall will remain unfinished and the right. ceiling... Right, that's why I needed to continue to do something. Right, the ceiling still needs help as well, mm -hmm. so... And fix this crack, I need to sand all this down. Like, I just have a lot of little stuff to do, but I wanted to get the dormer done so that you could do electrical. That was... Well, like... you wanted me to take the light off the ceiling, and yeah. if I do that, there's no light in the room. Correct. <laughs> so... So yeah, we're getting there. One... One little piece at a time. Hey, yeah, I need to pull the phone out of my butt. Hi. Hi. How are you? Well, I heard. That's kind of a terrible thing to say. I can't hear anything. So I have my earbuds on. Look at the green in this floor. That's crazy looking. Isn't that cool? I'm so excited. I heard a bunch of noises, so I figured I'd see what the noise was all about. There's some nails in here. I've already like... So we'll have to pound those down. Well, I sanded that one down. Okay. Um, and they'll be shiny. Like, we can pound this one down and that one down. Right. The thing I worry about, and I have to do some research, and maybe you guys on the internet can help, is there's so much gunk in between some of these seams that I'm going to have to try and figure out how to pull out, like, the white. Right. Some of these white spots don't really bother me because they're really deep. So I mean, the only thing I can do is like paint them black, so it'll be a nice black spot in there instead. Um, but like, let me get the, the floor difference here. Right. Um, and use the belt sander. I can already feel because I was really trying to get these to level out that there's like a little ridge here mm -hmm. that I'm gonna have to work on. Um, but I love the way that the floor is coming out. It's really neat. It's very interesting as to like where the the paint has just gone into these grains and like it's gonna be very interesting because I think I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna try and something about all that color. I don't know yet what I'm gonna do. It's not red anymore. Not all of it. But I like the, the color. It all needs to come up to somewhere about, about here. Because mm -hmm. you can see where it's a little gray. That can that can come out. So we'll take a layer off the floor. But it's coming. Mm -hmm. um, and this is just with the small sanders. Yeah, this is the 36 grit. It just like <laughs> it just pulls it right up. You made fun of the 36 grit. But... It's angry. It's very angry. But you should see the amount of dust that comes out of the back of that thing because it's just... Oh, I'm sure it's pretty bad. It's awful. So, yeah. I wonder if we could rig it so that the shop back is directly wired to it. It's, no, because it comes out both directions. Oh, uh, okay. I don't even know if the stupid bag is worth it because it's just not picking anything up. Mm. Uh, but it's interesting because the, the sanding belt that's on that Makita is only on one side and the Makita is like yay wide. So depending on which part of the... Like, because you want to get it up against the edge so that you can get... On so it only does that in one direction? It only does it in one... Like, I have to hold it in different ways in order to get it to move. So that's why I got in here with this little angry thing and it just changed the pad. It's coming together, though. 
It's getting there. We painted the ceiling. I put on a coat of satin. It's the, it's the just the candle paint, just to see what it can look like. And obviously, it needs another coat, but right. But you wanted to do a was it eggshell or or flat? Uh, well, the ceiling would be flat. Right. Um, it needs another coat, and now that I keep looking at it, it's starting to dry, I think I'm going to have to sand it again, because I can still see the seam here, and it bothers me. I may not get any of these seams to be completely gone. Right. But who knows? All I know is I'm sanding, mm -hmm. and it's fun, and it's therapeutic. I just heard a break in the noise, so I figured I'd come see what was going oh, on. Oh, my pad, I was just doing the floor, I went, wee! <laughs> <laughs> so I went and grabbed it. The only thing I want is a pocket. Like the pocket I have is on my shirt is really poor. Oh, so your phone so your phone falls out? Yeah, so it's stuck on my butt right now, which makes it's all like wet and sweaty, which is kinda gross. But it's my phone, it's not your phone. Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> what else? I wanna go get the Dremel, and I know it's at the RV, and we need to go to the RV anyway, because right now I have like nasty tape holding my toe together. Um, and all the medical tape is at the RV. But I want to get the, the Dremel because then I can put little sanding discs on and I can get in here and like sand up some of the, mm -hmm. the little stuff on the trim with the Dremel because I know I'll be able to do it. It's got a really nice long, it's not like a little tiny handheld thing. It's got a long fan attachment because it's a jewelry tool. Lovely. Oh, so we're getting there. How are you? How's, been, how's work been all day? Busy. Get there. At least it's over. Oh, it's over? Work's over? Yeah, it's five o'clock. Oh, okay, cool. All, all the work? Yes. All the work is over. All the work. At some point, I gotta start thinking about dinner. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That'd be great. I'm just gonna think. You missed a staple, anyway. There was like a staple in here somewhere that I pulled. I had to pull out. Right. I tried my best, but. That's okay. There were.